Hi everybody. All right, so I found this and click on Detroit FBI and Detroit police chief talk about local four defenders about uh, local ISIL threats. ISIL becoming the uh, formal name for ISIS uh, is a terrorist group presenting a growing threat around the world right here, supposedly in Metro Detroit. So no doubt you're federal tax dollars is funding it locally as well as internationally so you might want to look that up but there's a lot on this and I'll be honest with you I don't think for a moment Americans would tolerate one attack on US soil by the Islamic State I think if there was a Paris style attack on U.S. soil. I think Americans would gang together, probably do whatever they had to do, and there wouldn't be anything more that the police would be able to do. They, they, they'd be, people would be rioting in the streets, flipping MRAPs. I mean, they, they would be flipping armored vehicles over, tipping them over, going, you know what? You didn't handle this, and so now we are. And that's the American uh, way, of way of going. You know, we, we elect you to handle this for us. But in the end of the day, if this shit comes to our soil and you haven't handled this, it's up to us. And, you know, it's just amazing what this is really going into. So, I'll let that go for a few minutes, and I'll show the first 30 seconds or so. Alright, so, it's Eugene not going to go. Of yeah, we don't care. Group presenting a in social security hey, disability claims a soft target if you are New disabled and need social security target. benefits so a local church was threatened in the name of terror dreamed of a day he could behead someone the fbi arrested the dearborn house man for an act out of plan defenders to talk about local terror threats So. The FBI says ISIL is well-financed and well-organized, getting bigger across the country and right here in Metro Detroit. Tonight, an exclusive interview takes you inside the local ISIL threat of a megachurch. You may know them as ISIS. The federal government calls them ISIL. Both terms refer to the same terror organization that splintered off from Al-Qaeda and operates along the border of Iraq and Syria. Where Al-Qaeda thinks big like 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center, ISIL thinks smaller, trying to convince as many people in Europe and America to arm themselves and kill in the name of ISIL. Almost every single week, an ISIL plot is uncovered somewhere in America. ISIL is uh, changing strategies and tactics and suggesting uh, folks, uh, they encourage them to radicalize, but they encourage them to uh, conduct their operations here in the United States. The feds say Dearborn Heights resident Khalil Abu Ryan was plotting to kill in the name of ISIL. His plan to shoot up Greater Grace Temple, home to thousands of local church members. Court documents say Abu Ryan told an undercover informant he bought a lot of bullets and practiced loading and reloading. He picked Greater Grace because it was close to his job and he figured no one carries weapons to church. He was certain it would make the news. We uh, placed 24-7 surveillance on this individual. We had a team from uh, uh, out of state here as well as our own resources and we weren't going to allow that individual to make a move. We the feds had around the clock surveillance watching Abu Ryan's every move. Alright, so you guys get the idea on that. And if they're doing that with these guys are doing that with patriots and persons who are severely pissed off at their situation and long list of other things as well. So this very idea that, you know, Detroit and Metro Detroit, for that matter, is not dealing with ISIL threats. It's dealing with them every day. And 
Uh, my family actually has people we know who have who actually go to Greater Grace Church. Um, my nephew actually went to a school uh, associated with that church. So had that actually happened, this would have actually been very close to the family. Uh, as you know, I'm white. Um, I have two nephews that are uh, mulatto or biracial, black and white mixed. And my sister and her husband make that work for them. So, and best as I know it, in school, they're not teased or anything. You know, they get good grades, everything else. So, I'm not, you know, at any point where I really care about that. Um, so, Detroit, being Metro Detroit, um, is dealing with local ISO threats. And it is becoming a serious problem. But I think if a Paris or something like that were to happen, I think that's when you would see every American coming out of the house with their guns saying, okay, guys, um, you know, let's go do what we have to do. You know, we've, we've waited long enough. Let's go, let's go do what, what we need to. You know, because in the end of the day, I mean, it's up to you to protect your family. It's up to you to carry... Or not to carry or, you know, to stop something you know is wrong in the streets. And hopefully not get charged with something along the way. But in the end of the day, if your representatives no longer agree with you or can no longer stop threats from the international side, then at the end of the day, they can either join you or they can just kind of sit there quietly and not do what they need to do in order to stop what you need to do to protect your family and protect those you love. So at the end of the day, that's what needs to happen if there is a Paris attack on American soil. And I know more and more people who are saying, if that happens here in the United States, you know, they're done. If this 2A ever gets taken away from the United States, they're done. You know, they'll die in the firefight. They'll do this, they'll do that. And these are guys that are, you know, that have their families all gone. You know, they're empty nesters who now have guns and ending other jobs and everything else, and they're kind of sitting back going, my God, is this the America we're leaving our children? Because if so, we're screwed. And, you know, you might as well kind of go in for the fight if that's kind of the way, you know, it's going to be. You know, you don't want to live to see what reality would occur after the fact, but at the same time, you want to protect those you have here. So... I don't know, man. Local ISIL threats, everything else. It's getting bad, folks. Thank you.